Where did it go? It came around this way, but it saw my phone holding, uh, me holding my phone up right there. And then it left. So the car came around this way to like uh, rush me with the vehicle. I reported that, but I deleted it so because uh, I didn't think people would believe me. So it made the corner. You can't prove that they were doing it on purpose because they get out of Dodge real quick. But here I am standing right here. The car was coming right there and you saw the car go around that curb and get out of Dodge. So now that I'm a little bit more calm, I'll explain what just happened. It's someone in this truck right here. Multiple times when these things happen, times when these things happen there's always someone that's out and it could easily blend into mental illness because who would believe these things were going on but an indicator would be the 70 something reports of things that were going on that the police refused to investigate all over in all different departments that's clear-cut evidence that someone is getting terrorized and they refuse to investigate it including multiple fbi locations Okay, what did I just experience that I tried to record and I was hysterical? Okay, so I was in the right lane, all the way to the right, and the car stopped abruptly for no reason. And I know that these cars, you can't prove that they're doing it on purpose. I don't have a dash cam. So I got over to the middle lane. The car all the way in the left lane stopped and tried to get over for no reason in the middle lane. It was a black vehicle. Nothing in front of it, the, the so in the all the way to the right lane, that vehicle stopped abruptly. I got into the middle lane and then the car in the left lane got over abruptly and then stayed there like it was going to hit me. I got my phone and then she got out of Dodge. And then she was, when I, before I got my phone and she knew what was going on, she looked rude like she was mad at me. And they people have done these things and started arguments intentionally it's a form of torture and emotional abuse that people have done and when you initially got on my page i wasn't able to verbalize what i was going through because no one would believe that these businesses would be enticed to bully and harass someone that's impossible and hard to believe so i just deleted the chaos because i knew no one would never believe what i was trying to expose so i would need a dash cam or if there was camera footage to go back it would show in the all the way far right lane a car stopped abruptly for no reason i got over to the middle lane and then the car stopped uh, stopped abruptly in the left lane and got over to the middle lane and nothing was there then not only did the car stop abruptly and try to get over on me then it stopped in the back in the tracks of that to block me from in the middle lane to go anywhere then when i got my phone they all got out of dodge and all disappeared very quickly it, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. If someone can review if there was camera footage, it would expose these things. That's why I say I need a dash cam. I, and then in the middle of that, when I stopped the recording, I got a phone call. And it was the wrong number. Now, that could be coincidental. My calls are controlled. I don't get calls. I get my calls are controlled and I get the calls that I'm allowed. Some kind of way in the middle of that video, I got a call. And then they asked for the wrong number but this is a pattern of my experiences. So now that I'm a little bit more calm, that's what I experience every day, getting tortured, harassed, the prank calls, all of the chaos. Do you think that this man is stable and he needs to be running the government? Dozens of call, dozens of texts and all kinds of different things. And you know, this is my daily experience. I just, just said that I wasn't going to discuss it because I knew people wouldn't believe it. I don't know why multiple parties, when I have these experiences, are sitting in the car. Like they're setting up traffic. All, multiple different environments. There's always someone sitting there waiting. When these bus leave me, I try to expose that there's always someone. When these cars come, they're waiting. Par cars have waited in apartment complexes. Multiple cars when I'm driving. When, when I'm walking as well. I've seen cars sit there and wait. And then when I try to cross the crosswalk, walk five or six cars come out at me, dart at me. Traffic comes. I tried to explain that, but I'm pretty sure people would not believe it. If someone was to do an investigation of the 70 something reports, all this chaos I'm reporting could be observable, is observ observable on camera footage. It also happened in Box Springs at this Chinese restaurant and I reported it to Box Springs Police on camera footage how this car purposely darted out at me. 
they were caught and dead in the middle of doing it. I reported it the time and the restaurant to Box Springs Police and have never, out of all the reports all over the place, not got, I have not received one call from one investigator. All of these reports to the FBI, not one has called me back. 